Hello everybody, I'm Dan's Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Loop Hero. Um, I haven't heard much about this game except that it's really awesome. I don't know anything about it except that it's supposed to be really good. So, we're just going to jump into it and see what it's like, because I have no idea. I know it's a roguelike. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before. Before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton the staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do any good, I guess. To change between adventure, traveling the map, and planning, stop modes, um, press the switch, right, uh, press switch, right click, or space. Continue, um, your journey by changing the game mode. Oh, I like this UI. Looks like we have inventory screen. A gear screen, I mean inventory, uh, stats, day progress, map completion, game speed, okay. So it actually, like, progresses along track on its own, that's cool. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such a thing as a night still even exists without a sky, of course. I like the, like, uh, Atari-style graphic on the, uh, the, the little dude here. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Space, right-click. A living ball of slime. How RPG of us. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting, and most of the actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. <gasps> I can't. It's auto? Uh oh. So I can just sit and watch hopelessly as he dies. Auto battler. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. So I can equip gear on him? I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards or left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to, re to remember the land. Now continue your journey. Huh. What a clever concept so far. I like this. This is unique. That's a cat. It's a bad kitty. So now it's a giant rat. Forest rat wolf. Okay, it was a rat wolf. Uh, I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remember as a bad... Damn! It's good that nobody is listening. 
You can probably get new items and cards during bat. You can get uh, new items and cards during battle, as you probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item uh, or card, um, you can inspect its pro properties, equip a new item, weapon, and place a new card on the map to continue. Uh, this text behind me won't be there for long, don't worry. I'm above all the stuff that's important. So I can put it anywhere on the map. Fort. You probably already know someone has unique abilities, not uh, as in most cards, by hovering over the item and card and inspect their properties. Continue, equip a new item, place the card on the map to continue. Uh, a thick forest, nobody knows what uh, could be lurking inside, makes you nervous. 1% hero attack speed. It's magnificent, pure. Its magnificent appearance gives you strength. 2 HP, 2 more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. So I get like passive bonuses for doing that. Huh. So I can't touch that part there. That went into my... A log that somehow managed to keep its structural integrity despite the general chaos. Uh, preserved rock, apparently untouched by Lich's curse, and this suitable for building despite the shapelessness of the void. Um, vampirism. Okay, so there's a mountain over there, and a, the, here's a forest. The world's light just like new. The branches and, of sto and stone on my backpack are sure a sign of that. Some of your actions will yield resources that will speak you need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. I already looked at them. I think it's time to get... Oh, wait. I'm covering the guy's face, aren't I? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to move... If I... Maybe over here will be fine. Oops. Hopefully. I think it's time to get some rest. Uh, the game itself is a journey uh, on a loot path. Only you will decide whether it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you, uh, you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost um, any time, but a special... Uh, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. <laughs> uh, retreat to the camp by pressing the button. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed your mind. Uh, what a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. Uh, retreat, you keep all resources. Yes, I would treat. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. Nice place to set up camp. This is where all the resources you've gathered will come in handy. Uh, who would have thought? You have to just enough wood and stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. Campfire. Cozy camp, uh, common campfire, warm and cozy. Uh, monsters keep away from it, so it's nice to spot, uh, nice spot to have some rest in your travels. I'll send up your camp and the starting point of your adventures. The hero restores two percent of his max HP upon entering the campfire tile. Okay. Congratulations, you've beaten the annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition, or not. Do as you wish. So, expedition, start. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place. And it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am, I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. <laughs> so 
So we like travel through a loop, constantly collecting memories and items and stuff. Let's see. Meadow. Heals two beach start of each day. Spider cocoon. Spawn the spider on the Jason tile once a day. I'll put it toward later on. Beacon, a worthless a landmark in a world of, with no direction. Movement speed within its range, attack speed for all units. Okay. Try putting it there. All right, go person. Ooh, got some gear. Armor, yes. Damage, yes. Another meadow. Go, little dude. Kill the one. Kill them. A road lantern. Decreases the, the max number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect of lanterns can stack. I'll try putting it there. And then a ring. Magic damage, damage to all. Let's keep going. Ooh. Armor with 86 health, but vampirism for healing. A shield. And armor 84. Nope. Can I do anything with old armor I don't want? Stay. Now keep going. Bump, bump. Bring attack speed uh, 4%. Four defense, armor. I think raw damage is probably better for now. Alright, let's see. Another meadow. A rock. 2% more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. They're over here. Grab a spawn a rat wolf for every two days. The wolf can move to, with, to an adjacent tile. Try putting it there, I guess. There's probably interesting combos and stuff. Mountain. 5 HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Yes, there we go. So we let, we're building like the background map as we play, which is cool. Spooter. Beacon, movement, attack speed for all units. Try that. And then another mountain. like collecting resources and stuff. Okay, nothing good so far. So we get resources by going across the mountain as well. Yeah, the devs in this seem very active. Shield. Ooh, that's very good shield. That's counter and evasion. Attack speed and evasion. I like the pur the purple. It has many stats on it. There's a bug about switching in the middle of battle to reset your attack speed for that battle. Does it? Well, that's... That sucks. Hopefully, hopefully they get that fixed. <laughs> this is such a cool little game. I love auto battles. This is a very interesting take on one. Okay. 
way. Shield, counter, evasion six, defense two. Yeah, we'll figure everything out as we go. Goblin camp. Spawns a goblin. Jason tiles appears every ten uh, for every ten mountain or rock tiles. <gasps> oh, cool. So you can like affect the map by putting enough things together. Oh, oh my god, what the? There's so many! What the? What the? Oh god, it's getting... A battlefield. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles become ghosts. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, how about a lovely meadow? Another mountain? Uh-oh, starting to get intense. Yeah, freaking ghosts. No one mentioned ghosts, all right? I did not sign up for ghosts. Okay, I've got a helmet. Or not. That's our burner mine. Looks like a helmet. <laughs> Counter plus 10%. Try that one. I don't know what counter does. Bum, bum. Another grove. And I can link them together. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Not not dealing too much damage. Vampire Mansion, no! Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. Add vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. No! <laughs> There's creepy laughing. That's not cool. Uh, thank you, Harry So Cute, for the resub and Forbidden One, Pink Flash You, uh, King of Races, Geek, Tactical Wizard, My Tacos, Zavro, Dab Boy, uh, Supernova, Uncertain Zero. And thank you for the new followers, 4chan, uh, J Hog, Swift B, Zilder, Susan West. Thank you very much, guys. Ooh, Spider Cocoon. Uh, spawns a spider on adjacent tile once a day. I could have like a spooter spot over here. Many spooters. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. Wait, is that a tier two shield? Yes. But um not quite as good. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh no. Back off, human. A vampire? Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? You, your mind is, an e is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I am too weak. But you can help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. Dan is a vampire? I know, I do suck. Badly at many games. So I'm a va game vampire? 
Uh, Jen Kag and JGJ Crazy, thank you for those resubs, guys. Said, what about hundreds of years of Twitch Prime? Didn't even think about that. Yes, I'm a game fire. I want to be a vampire, like looking like that. I want to have luscious hair, you know. Do you get Do you get to have hair when you're a vampire, or do you not? Uh. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. Name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Oh no, he's got vampirism. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. We're gonna get him. <laughs> No one defeats the game fire. <laughs> okay. Vampires are, are often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Put that there. Uh, no new armor or anything? Boo. Well, that one actually adds a bunch of health. Like, a ton. So I'll go ahead and take put that on. That one's not that great. Treasure chest! Yep. Ooh, a ring. Magic damage, defense, attack speed, and vampirism. Ooh, that's very good. Boom, 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 boom. Goblin camp, uh oh. S stop. Where did those goblins come from? I don't remember remembering. I don't remember remembering you. We remember ourselves. Now give us all you've got. You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first? And then you can do anything you want. Captain Masurab! No other order in the world! Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait, I do have one. How about... Oh, God. Oh, you better kill him. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, that's close. It's strange how these creatures appear here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Uh oh. Maybe I can make it to the camp and get some health back? Come on. Whoa, I made a giant mountain. A stone giant could support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. Uh, five HP for every adjacent. Uh, Mountain rock tile spawns a harpy every two days. Level four ring plus thirteen vampirism damage to all. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth equipping that just yet. I need the defense. Oh. 
I want to make it to the camp. Okay, equip the weapon. Make another grove. Okay, let's do another spider cocoon. Stop the evading. Oh my god. 16 defense. Road lantern. Increasing the maximum of monster did to affect the stat lanterns can stack. Hmm. Be a little bit more loot though. Okay. Let's pull out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe it. Hey, everybody, the boy has managed to return. Survivors, does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from, but we can't remember, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're. You're not sure? We're not sure. But we, uh, we reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and our leftover daily rations. You know, it might be okay if I put myself right about there. I think that will work. It's a good abandoned luggage and le left the daily rations. Each day, a new sign of presence of people treat as people that as far as everyone knows have never ever been with us it's like we forgot them you forgot exactly it's the people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed almost if we forget the place we even came, where we came from and our families and maybe even ourselves my name is yoda yota that that's the part i still remember no one else's memory is in much better shape that's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd managed to return. That means you remembered I was here? Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. And a few luxuries. And a real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be rather grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember what the world as it was before, but there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. I remem remembering the world. I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted, but we'd be glad to help you. We, if you could help us and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. Uh, if I pause the Dodge Ravenfall 2, I'm um, currently on Chapter 5. Um, I just beat one of the late bosses. I'm just playing it on my own. It's not a great game to watch. But it's fun to play, though. We're joking about helping you. Here are a few things we, that survived the Cataclysm don't vanish. Did, and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Well, thank you for resources. All right. Field kitchen. 10% to the heat camp fire's healing power unlocks the blood grove card. Huh. Well, let's do uh, kitchen. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What, you were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. 
Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, and a couple of knives, and a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special, everything is very simple. <laughs>